Welcome to The Lean Life, a series dedicated to exploring the principles of lean thinking or manufacturing. As a quick introduction into the lean philosophy, lean focuses on minimizing waste while maximizing productivity. Today's lean topic is on waste. More specifically, it is on the seven deadly wastes, also known as the Japanese word muda. Muda comes from the 3M model in Lean, also known as the Lean Triad. This triad consists of three concepts, Muda, which means waste, Muri, which means overburden, and Mura, which means unevenness. Ideally, a Lean system should eliminate these three M's. Since Muda is today's topic, I wanted to explain it a little more. Muda can also mean futility or uselessness. Basically, Muda is anything that does not add value. According to Lean, there are seven main types of waste. These wastes are known as the seven deadly wastes, and they can be remembered with the acronym Tim Wood. So, what does this acronym stand for? Let's start with the T, which stands for transportation. Transportation is moving goods from one place to another. The act of transportation by itself is not a value-adding activity. Transportation becomes especially wasteful if it is taking too long or costing too much. So, it is important to minimize the cost, time, and resources involved in transporting goods. This could be done by moving destinations closer together, using more energy-efficient transportation methods, maximizing space usage, and choosing the best routes for transport. It may even be worthwhile to consider changing the transportation method, such as switching from road to air transport. The next waste is I, which stands for inventory, more specifically, unprocessed inventory or work in progress. Excess inventory results in many other wastes, such as the waste of producing, processing, packaging, storing, securing, and transporting the inventory along with all of the time wasted in those processes. Inventory, if it is not used or sold, is also a liability. It has the risk of being damaged or never being sold. To reduce excess inventory, it is important to only purchase or produce as much as you need when you need it. Next up is M, which stands for motion or movement. Having unnecessary motion in a facility is a waste of time and energy. This motion can be done by a person, machine, or material. For example, a worker bending over to pick up material is a waste of motion. Another example is a worker needing to walk long distances between workstations. Not only do these motions waste time, they also may fatigue or injure the worker. These types of motion could be easily reduced by establishing a more ergonomic work system, such as by elevating materials so that workers don't have to bend to pick them up, or making workstations as close to each other as possible. Moving on to the next letter, we have W, which stands for waiting. Waiting is essentially the waste of time by workers or machinery. It disrupts the flow of work and can be due to many reasons, whether that is poor communication between departments or waiting for work in progress to get finished. Due to excess waiting, processes will be delayed, workers will get frustrations, and goods may be damaged. To reduce this waste, it's important to make sure that work processes are synchronized and harmonious. Non-value-adding activities should be identified and removed. The next waste is O for overproduction. Overproduction is when you produce more than what you need at a given time, leading to excess inventory. Overproduction is often considered to be the worst type of waste, since it produces so many other types of waste. Overproduction would have created waste in all of the wastes discussed so far, transportation, inventory, motion, and waiting. It will also cause waste of money, raw materials, and space. Ultimately, overproduction is such a serious waste because it requires a lot of effort without adding value. It can be caused by irregularity in forecasting and scheduling, as well as bad decision making when it comes to determining batch sizes. So, it's best to monitor batch sizes in the pace of production, so that goods are produced only when needed in the amount they are needed. 
Moving on to the second O in the acronym, we have the waste of overprocessing. Overprocessing refers to when there are unnecessary steps in a process or excess effort to complete a certain task. Overprocessing may seem like a good thing and can thus be difficult to detect. However, it's important to identify since it may be wasting valuable time and effort without adding significant value. So, it's best to make sure that processes are as simple and efficient as possible. Finally, there's the waste of D, defects. Defects are products that are defective in some way. They either need to be reworked to meet accepted standards of quality, or they have to be scrapped. Obviously, defects will have residual waste of time, raw material, money, and more. So, it's important to make sure that defects are minimized. This could be done by identifying the root cause of these defects, fixing it, and continuously monitoring quality. So, to revise, the seven deadly wastes are transportation, inventory, motion, waiting, overproduction, overprocessing, and defects. These wastes are often interlinked and can be happening simultaneously. However, they could also be improved simultaneously. To live the lean life and be on the road to continuous improvement, be sure to look out for Tim Wood in your factory or business. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more content on lean, productivity, and industrial engineering, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. All of the references that were used to create this video will be listed down below.